Hey YouTube, it's Fitting 30 here. Long time no see. I feel like every time I do a video that I say, oh, it's been a long time or something. But anyway, I'm just coming to you quick fast with um, a two strand twist out that I did. And I guess at the same time, we could kind of do a lens check, uh, you know, a verbal where I am with my hand and stuff like that or whatever. And I'm going to also show you the products I used to do a two strand twist out. So I'm going to start with the products I used. Yes, we all know. Cantu Shea Butter Leave-In Conditioner Repair Cream. So it says. We'll see. Very good still out on that. Um, I used this a couple of times and I don't know. It just doesn't seem like it's like. To me, this is kind of neck and neck with my Shea Moisture um, Raw Shea Butter Leave-In Conditioner. You know, I don't want the mustard label. I don't want to say it wrong. I'll put it in the description box. But yeah, it's kind of sort of neck and neck with it. Not really, but kind of sort of to me. The Shea Moisture, of course, gives me more moisture. And it leaves my hair moisturized for a longer amount of time than this. But mm, this is okay. I kind of like put it maybe in my hair a little bit more than I do the Shea Moisture. I do the Shea Moisture when I use when I'm first washed. I'm freshly washed and like that. And sometimes I'll take this and I'll just put a little bit in my hair when I feel like I need a little bit uh, you know, not product or something to set my hair or my twist, but you know, just a little something. Um, on top of that, when I finished twisting my hair, I just took a little of raw shea butter. The real, if I can get it open. The real, you know, raw shea butter. Oh, I can't get it open. Well, anyway, yeah, this is a little container, and I just take a little bit of it, like. If you could see on my fingers that much, and I just rub my fingers together and I take it and rub it along the lines of the twist, starting from the bottom, of course, you know, to because my ends for some reason seem like if they get drier than any place else on my head. So I rub it on the bottom and I kind of work it down. And meanwhile, I'm like maybe twisting, but of course, we don't twist too hard because you know we don't want the strain on our hair. But anyway, one to me taking these out because I've had it in my hair for like, um, I think about. Maybe all week, about four days. I went to the beach Sunday. Yeah, about four days. I had these twists in my hair, and I'm gonna take them out because I'm going someplace and I don't want it to be too tight. I'm going someplace tomorrow, and I don't want the twist to be too tight. I want them to be loose by that time, so I'm gonna take them out today. And let's see how they look with the products that I used. It's nice, right? I'm gonna take them out. We'll see how they are. My hair is like, I got some real funny hair. When I wash it, it, sh it like shrinks. I have shrinkage all the time. I mean, and the weather is becoming very humid because it's been very warm. So the humidity shrinks my hair up. I went to the beach on Sunday and I had like a nice fro. By the time I came back from the beach, it was looking like just shrunk. It was just shrunken. It, it kind of, it wasn't like TWA short, but you know, it just was like really short and crazy looking. As you can see, I kind of colored my hair. I mean, if you was following me on Instagram when I was on Instagram, um, I took some pictures and said I tried, attempted to d dye my hair. I attempted twice actually, and I think I will not be attempting again unless I could find something that is not as strong as a dye to do my hair. Like maybe. Uh, um, if I could find like a rinse, I was trying to get it red. Uh, that didn't work. First, I tried um, oh, honey blonde. Mm -hmm. Tried to do highlights. That didn't work. My husband said to me, "Why didn't you just go and try to get done it, get it done professionally?" Because you know, you think you could do everything if you just watch a YouTube video. <laughs> so I tried it myself, and it didn't work. Like it took, it didn't even really take in my roots. The second time I did it with something that was, um, the color was burgundy brown and it took more of the burgundy brown than whatever, but it's really directly in my roots. That's about it. And the ends of my hair was just a little lighter. My hair is always, um, off black. So now we just made it kind of like brown. And you can kind of see it in this light though. I think this is picking it up very well. Um, it might be a little brighter. 
from what I'm seeing on the camera, it doesn't really look that bright to me. But some people be like, oh, I see it, I see it. And I'd be like, you see it? I don't see it. So, you know, whatever. I'm not going to put anything on my hair because it's, it's getting late. I'm not going anywhere. So I'm not going to put any additional oil in my hair as I'm twisting it out. Because when I wake up tomorrow, I know that I'm going to have to add some oil to my hair. So I won't be doing that. I'll just be separating the coils and, you know, letting you see how it came out with the Cantu Shea Butter Leave-In Conditioner and the Shea Butter. Now my hair, it feels very nice and soft, so that product leaving my hair soft is not the issue. It's just that um, I don't always want to add in extra stuff. You know, sometimes you don't want to add in extra stuff. And I'll put a scent, like some essential oils in my scalp, like olive oil, a mixture of olive oil, Jehovah oil, avocado oil, um, trying to get all the oils together, vitamin E, apricot oil, and some other oil is mixed in the bottle. And I just put it like directly in my scalp. And lately, because of when I went to the beach, um, I usually do it in the nighttime or before I get in the shower, so it could kind of like stack, you know, just steam into my head or whatever. But when I went to the beach, I was so oily all around here. It's like, and I don't even put that much. It's like the oil just started coming out of my head and out of my pores and everything. So now I only put it in the crown of my head, like around here, not towards my ends really around here in the middle of my head and the back of my head where it's like the driest because I don't want to be looking like a grease I don't know what when I go outside but um yeah hair goes to twist um as you can see my hair is progressing I don't know if you remember the last time I did an update or whatever but this is where the sides of my head is now um I haven't cut it since the front of my hair yeah I haven't cut it since though I'm dying to clip my ends but I have not done it yet and my hair is kind of to me I don't know maybe because I pulled these down sometimes it looks uneven oh didn't twist this one out sometimes it looks uneven but I mean in my experience I had um protective style for like the whole month of June well the majority of the month of June like maybe the last week of June, because we're in the last week, I didn't really do the protective style. But um, I braided up my hair and I had a wig on for like the whole beginning of June up until the beginning of this week. So um, from time to time, that's what I do to, you know, stop all the twisting and all the, you know, the tension that is done to my hair. I Meanwhile, I'm trying to style it in different styles and stuff like that. So sometimes I just, you know, I'll braid it, cornrow it, not too tight, loose. Um, and a lot of cornrows just going like this and that and then I'll wear a wig or something like that So, you know, it'll save me from washing my hair more frequently and everything like that And sometimes my hair, my hair is the kind of hair that agrees with dirt I don't know, it might sound nasty, but that's how my hair grows It's been like that, even when I had a perm, you know, my hair always reacted better to when it was, when it was dirty So, you know, I'm kind of adapting the same kind of habits with you know my natural hair the only thing that I cannot stand sometimes when I um when I don't use gel in my hair to do my twist when I break them apart I don't like when they get kind of frizzy I don't like that you know I don't like that and I try to do it from the root to tip but no matter what it still you know gets kind of frizzy I'm not gonna like separate them too much because by the time I wake up tomorrow it'll probably be a mess and I do not retwist. Once the twist is out, it's out. I'm not trying to retwist it to go to bed. I will just tie this up and go to bed with my hair like this. But it's nice and soft right now. I do agree. And you know me putting the shea butter on it, the raw shea butter, the actual shea butter. I've never done it before, so, you know, I like the results that that is giving my hair. 
you know, I love the feeling that it's giving my hair. It's not, you know, so dry and coarse feeling. I love the feeling that it's giving my hair. I am going to do the five minute challenge. Is it five minute challenge? Yes, five minute challenge. I'm gonna do that sometime this week and I'm gonna post that video sometimes this week, so please watch out for it. Um, I haven't really been doing a lot of videos. It's like it'll take me a whole month before I make another video. And I'm trying to get out of that habit, but I just, you know, I haven't been feeling like moved to do videos. I have a lot going on. And I don't want to blame that or anything, but I, I have a lot on my mind. You know, just a lot of stuff going on. So I really didn't have time to do it. Well, I wasn't making time to do it, you know. Um, shout out to all those mothers that have, you know, that, that have a channel and that have time to do it. <laughs> I mean, you know, I make the time to still maintain the channel. I'm just not one of them. So, you know, I'm so behind on a lot of stuff. I'm supposed to send out a package to a young lady and I don't want to jack up your thing, but I will put it below, and I still have not sent that out, and I am so sorry, but it will be to you soon, you know, I mean, it's to the point where I don't make videos so much that I will lose subscribers, which is horrible, and this is, it's bad, and I don't really want that to happen, I was kind of thinking about, you know, closing my channel, but hmm, I shut down my Instagram, by the way, I hope you know, people weren't following me and saying then they probably was like, oh, oh what happened now? <laughs> I'm still here, just not on Instagram. I'm, I might set up uh, another channel at a later date, but... And I was posting pictures on Instagram more than I post them on... I mean, more than I post videos, which was a crying shame. <laughs> yeah. But are you seeing the texture of these twists? Oh. It's so crazy. My hair is just all over the place right now. Cause I'm not even going to really thing it. Um, also, somebody asked me about the rockin' body thing. They sent me a thing. And I said I would do an update video, so this is kind of like my slash update video. Um, of course, I'm not even rockin' body no more. <laughs> Sean T, I'm sorry. I put that damn video down the same week. That was like, I did it that week and that was it you know then on to the next thing i'm like one of them people then i started juicing i was doing that consecutively and then i don't know what happened that thing me off like just one just like i fell off one day and never got back on so now i'm going to start back doing that i'm running the track at the park near my house um me and my husband goes quite frequently you know, so, and he was helping me with the juice and stuff. And I guess, you know, sometimes when you have a partner, it's easier to, not a partner, it's a husband. Somebody you like to do the whole thing with, it's easier because you have somebody kind of going through the same thing with you. But, um, I don't know, we both fell off. I guess we weren't really supporting each other. <laughs> we both fell off. So, that, you know, is bad. But as soon as I start something and stick to it you guys will know because i'll be like shouting at the top of the mountain i mean i did lose some kind of weight from it or whatever and um i don't know if to say that i lost water weight what kind of weight it was or whatever but like my clothes do fit differently so you know but if i look if i looked at me i would be like oh i didn't lose no weight but when somebody else sees me they're like oh you lost some weight so you know hey whatever but the only place i really want to lose weight in is my stomach i weigh like 160 something and i want to get down to like maybe mm, 140 135 something like that i don't want to be too i don't want to be skinny you know I, like like i said the places that i need to lose weight is my midsection you know around the stomach area where we tend to get that's like i don't know unfortunate for women <laughs> we tend to get the weight there first before any place else you know like the weight 
just comes there and it's so hard to get off there. So that's what I am working on my midsection. Um, don't ask me if I'm doing sit-ups because no, I'm not. I was doing it when I was going to the park all the time, but now like, you know, it's kind of, it's been like really hot. So I gotta start getting a routine for in the house because it's been like so disgusting. And you know, unless you get out there like the crack of dawn, that heat is not something you wanna be running around. It's like in in Raleigh, it's, it says it's 90, but it feels like 103. <laughs> <laughs> That's what they're saying on the news, and it's too humid, and you don't want to be out there. And I surely don't want to be passing out on the name of vanity. So, you know, I'm going to be safe. <laughs> so I'll be right in my house, trying to work this weight off. And I guess, like, um, when I start back juicing, I'll do a little bit of, uh, oh, I love the way this twist came out. These twists came out nice. I'll do um, maybe some videos on the things that I use for. I mean, it's been done so much. It's been kind of done to the ground. It's just recycled. But, I mean, I'll show you what I do if you're interested. You know, if anybody's interested in what I do, I'll show you what I do. You know, just leave comments or whatever. And I'll let you know. Um... Like I said, I wasn't going to separate my hair too much, but I'm, I'm just like separating away. <laughs> Meanwhile, I'm talking, separ separating away. So, I mean, here it is. I'm going to get it closer so you could see the um, curl pattern, you know, and how it came out. I don't know if you could tell that it's like, you know, moisturized or whatever. And I have no clue how the back looks, so don't shoot me or anything. Don't talk about me. Don't leave me bad comments. This, you know, it is what it is. And that's my son making them crazy noises. Who knows what he's saying? So, there we go. Um, this is a Finney 30.